If you find yourself running the same code repeatedly, consider saving the code as a snippet or using the live expressions. Let's start by creating a snippet. Open the sources panel. The snippets pane is most likely hidden after the page tree. The pane lists out all the existing snippets. Add a new one and give it a name. I name this snippet Get Images. Paste in the code and save it. This snippet lists down all images of a page, which is helpful for performance debugging. There are multiple ways to run the snippet. You can right-click to run it or click on the Run button at the bottom. If you are a keyboard person, you can use the Control or Command plus Enter shortcut to execute the snippet. Great! The result shows as a table, and you can sort them however you want. It would be even better if we can run a snippet without opening the snippet's pane. I mean, it takes too many steps to open that. Two pieces of good news for you lazy people. You can use the Command or Control shift p shortcuts to open the command menu and type snip. This way, you can create or open the snippet's pane quicker. Besides that, you can run the snippets from anywhere in DevTools. Let's pull out the command menu again. Instead of the greater than symbol, we need to change it to the exclamation mark. With that, you can see your list of snippets. Select one of them and press enter to run it. This get LCP snippet help us to highlight the largest containful pane elements on the page and in the console. Do you have any frequently used snippets? Share with us in the comments. In case you want to grab some useful performance snippets like what I showed just now, go to this link to find out more. Thanks, Juan, our fellow GDE, for maintaining the list. So far, so good. How about passing in parameters when running a snippet? Can we do that? Unfortunately, the answer is no, but there are some workarounds. This snippet takes an object and pretty prints it. The object value is dynamic. We can set the breakpoint in the snippet. Let's say we want to pretty print the docs array. When we invoke the snippet, it hits the breakpoint. We edit the object value in the scope and resume the run. If you want to execute snippets in the console, you can load the snippets as global functions. Here, I have two functions attached to the jglobal variable. Run them once. After that, you can access these functions in the console. You can pass in additional parameters to run them. Snippers have access to the page's JavaScript context, so you can execute them on any page. Not only that, you can use console utilities in the snippets as well. For example, you can use utilities like the dollar sign to query an element, the copy command to copy an object to the clipboard, and more. Watch our previous step 2 tips to learn more about console utilities API. Next, let's talk about some temporary code that you want to run repeatedly, usually during a debugging session. Live expression is perfect for that. For example, you want to constantly track the number of items in a list or track the window width. Click on the I button in the console. Start typing the expression you want to track. In this case, I want to track the total cup elements. Press Enter to save it and add more coffee to the list. The numbers will update in real time. You can add more live expressions. For example, tracking the current window width as it changes. All right, that's all. Go to this link to learn more about snippets and live expressions. Good luck debugging, everyone. See you for the next Step 2 Tips. Ciao!